Right, we're going to continue work with measurements and this is going to be time part one. And first of all I'm just going to do a few for 12 hour and 24 o'clock. So the long hand here is your minutes and this short hand here is your hours, so that's 3 o'clock. And then this one, this bit here is your minutes, this bit is your hours, so that's 10.45. And now that we've reviewed that, that's just a... Uh, get wind of this next um, topic which is going to be changing between the two which is important because it's on um, GCSE foundation papers about time just because it's an important thing that you need to know for everyday life which is basically just what GCSE math says now, so for, if it's below 12 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll just leave it the same. So that's still 10 o'clock. If, if it's on a 24 hour, it's still 10 o'clock. And if it's after 12 o'clock in the afternoon, when we'll have to add 12. So when we'll add 12 to this, we'll get 17.50. And... Now we're going to go the other way. I'm going to convert these 24 hour clock times back into your 12 hour. So we know that before that it just stays the same, and we know that that's am, so we'll add 8 am. We'll put am because you have to put am and pm just for your 12 hour clock. And for this one, well before we added 12, if it's after, now we're going to subtract 12, if it's after that. But we also have to remember that it's PM instead of AM. So when I subtract that, I'm going to get 9. When I subtract the 12, it's 30, and it's going to be PM this time. So if that one get 9.30 p.m. So that's basically how we change times from 12 hours to 24 hours and 24 hours to 12 hours. And here are two um, measurements of time that you should know that the 60 seconds in a minute and the 60 minutes in an hour. That's why on this clock here the minute hand when it goes all the way around that's an hour because each one of these numbers is a twelfth of that so each one of these represents five minutes because when you divide sixty by twelve you get five which we already know so yeah those are two important measurements you should know and also you have second one which works the same way but for seconds instead of minutes and now I'm just going to talk about adding and subtracting times just for the last part of the video so we've got to add this is basically how I'm going to do it And then, now because we know that the 60 minutes in an hour will carry over if this goes over 6, so let's just see what we get here. There's 5, and I've got 2 4s here. But you have to remember now that when it becomes 6, we'll carry over. So. What I'm actually going to get here is a 2 because I carry over and then I add the extra 2 on so because I've gone over 6 here I've got 1 to carry over so that becomes 1 there that I'm adding on so that's 13 25 or if you like for the 12 hour clock 
1.25 p.m. So basically you just carry over if the sum is over 6 for time, not 10. That's the most common mistake you could make with time. And you, then you just put whatever's left over, which in this case it's 2. Because there's 2 left over, because if it comes to 6, that's like... 1 because it's the same as 10s when we do normal numbers but because of how time works it just works like this so when it's over 6 you carry over that's the one important thing you need to remember when you're dealing with adding and subtracting times next one we're going to do is we want to subtract this away from 11 So I've got 2 hours 30. Now for this one, there's actually no um, carrying. 4, 3 away from the 4 would give for 10. And then the 2 away from the 11 would give for 9. So we'll get 9, 10. And for 24 o'clock, you always write a 0 in front, like that. And then if you want to do it on your normal one, you just 9, 10, EM. So, there's just a little review about, about times on the clocks there. And then, just to get us started with that, and then we talked about converting, and then we looked at adding and subtracting times. Which the one important thing you need to remember is you carry over if this sum here is over 6, not not 10, this sum here. Because I've got 4 plus 4, that was, that was 8. And then I've got 2 left over from that, so that's why I put the 2 there. In case it isn't too obvious. And really I should have put a plus there so that you knew it was... Adding in on this one, I subtract and put a minus there. So let's just a little look at a little bit about times and then we're going to continue a bit more about times in the next video. We're going to learn about much bigger times like dates and um, timetables and things like that. And we're going to learn about more of these measurements here that we already know which on a bigger scale which you might probably which you would already know but um, we'll have to learn the maths behind all of this for the exam <laughs>